Okay, welcome to part 5 of this video in which we examine the static equilibrium forces involved with this crane boom. In part 4, we found relative position vectors and we found force vectors. So in this part, all we have to do is uh, work out the uh, uh, vector equations and solve for the unknowns that we want, which in this case is F sub B the force applied by our hydraulic cylinder, and F sub A, the reaction force uh, uh, due to the, or that the crane applies to the boom. So we have everything here we need, we just need to do the computation. So I'm going to take this and slide it out of the way to where I can refer to it. And let's uh, write down the equations that we're going to use. Okay, we have um, the moment at A is going to be the relative position vector. Here we'll even do this in the right colors. It will be the relative position vector for L cross the force F sub L. Okay. That's the, the moment due to the load. Then we'll have plus the relative position vector RW cross the load vector, which, um, oh, we ended up with this very strange color. And then uh, finally, plus the um, relative position of B cross cross um, F sub B where you'll remember, hopefully, that, um, well, let's do this in the color we did it in. Uh, F sub B is the constant, F sub B, which I can actually take out of the front uh, of the cross product, times 0.375i plus point 927J. So I can write this term here as F sub B R sub B cross lambda hat B. Okay. And so um, let's actually go to Wolfram Alpha and compute the cross products that we have here. So R sub L is going to be, oops, 24.7 I and 24.7 J crossed, oops, with, um, 0 minus 500 and when I work that out we get that um, whoops we get that we should have added a 0 here because this cross product is going to be in the, the Z direction and we get then that the cross product of um, R sub L and F sub L is uh, minus 500, and that's in the Z direction. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Where are you? Minus 12,350, and that's in the Z direction. Okay. Similarly, if we compute R sub 
w, which is 11.3, 11.3 cross 0, comma minus 2,000, we get that this is minus 22,600 in the z direction. And finally, if we compute R sub B, which is 8.13 comma 6.01, cross the unit vector lambda hat B, 0.375 comma 0.927, Then we get this cross product is 5.28, again, in the z direction. OK, so if I go back to my to writing things out, um, this first expression uh, is going to be minus 12,350. Uh, foot-pounds times k-hat, so that's this guy here. Uh, the next one is going to be minus 22,600 foot-pounds times k-hat, and this guy here is going to be plus F sub B times 5.28 um, feet K hat. Okay. And now I can set this all equal to zero. And you can see everything here is in the k-hat direction. So um, I can go ahead and solve this for f sub b. This gives me f sub b is equal to uh, 6,619 pounds. OK. So that's exciting. We've got the force in the hydraulic cylinder. The next thing we need is to um, sum the forces so that we can get uh, the reaction forces F sub A. And so the easiest way to do this is we have, well, here we'll, we'll start with a brand new color. In fact, we'll start with a clean slate here. Okay, so we're going to have FA plus FB lambda hat B plus FL plus FW is equal to zero. Or we can write then that the vector FA is equal to minus all of these other guys, minus FB, lambda hat B, minus FL, minus FW. And we can just plug these guys in. We have minus um, 6,619 uh, pounds times 0.375 i plus 0.927 j minus minus 500 pounds j hat minus minus 2000 pounds j hat. And when we work this all out, we get then that this is minus 2,482 pounds times I hat minus 
3,636 pounds J hat. Okay, so all of a sudden, magically, we're done. We've got uh, we got F sub B in the last slide, and here we've got the reaction force at A. Uh, if you want to show this in terms of its magnitude and angle, it's uh, 4,402 pounds at an angle of minus 124.3 degrees. Okay. So, that basically concludes this video. Um, hopefully you found it instructive, and with this we will end.